Um, so one of the things I love about flamenco is, is sort of the ancient quality of it, the mysterious quality of it, the magical quality of it. And um, you know, I'm not an expert on on the history or, or all that, but I do know a little bit. And it's it's basically a music the music of of gypsies that have traveled, you know, all the way from India for the most part, and have traveled through all the way to Spain, southern Spain. So, you know, it picked up so much from music and culture from from Arabia, from Persia, from North Africa, and eventually the you know, and then European music in Spain. So to me it's just it's got it's very modal, it's got which just means it's got um, it doesn't really use Western harmony necessarily in terms of chord progressions being uh, predictable and functional. So there's always surprises with it, and um, you know that's part of the reason why I like it. Um, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll always sort of want to learn more about it. So I'm glad that you're here, and, and sh I'm able to share this with you because you know I get a lot of joy out of sharing my joy with flamenco. So all right. Um, <coughs> So uh, the next piece is Solia por Gloria, uh, which is basically in between Solia and Bolivia. It's sort of a crude way to say it, but um, Bolivia is very fast, and Solia is generally a little slower. And so Solia por Bolivia is basically on its way to being pretty fast. You know, <laughs> it's, it's a real sort of common way to think about it. Um, and uh, it's got amazing stuff on the guitar, so I've been having a lot of fun trying to work this up. And um, generally, you would go solely up Bolivia into Bolivia, and you sort of speed up. Um, but you know that also works better when you have a dancer and everything. It's, it's, it's very dramatic, you know. So I'm not going to do that right now. But um, anyway, let's. Uh, we'll just start. And, 